Could the Denver Broncos still bring in multiple quarterbacks this offseason? Could they still sign a free agent even after drafting one in the first round? That's what one top Broncos insider hinted at this evening. Mike Kliss, the top Broncos insider in the business for Nine News, was courteous enough to appear on the Mainly Broncos podcast for the MHRT Network. I'm also a part of the MHRT Network. I am a co-host on their flagship podcast, the 5280 Podcast. Check us out every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Cam Parker, one of the co-hosts on Mainly, is also a co-host on 5280, and he was able to arrange Mike Kliss on Mainly, and he dedicated well over 30 minutes of his time over there so I really appreciate you Mike Kliss on behalf of the MHRT network for dedicating your time and he actually dropped a bit of a bombshell in the first couple of minutes of the interview of course we're still going to be focusing on quarterback until we have some sort of finality on this situation whether the Broncos get their guy in the draft or bring in a free agent Cliss actually seems to think both could still be in the cards. He says that even if the Denver Broncos were to trade up and get a guy like J.J. McCarthy, or maybe move back and get a guy like a Bo Nix or a Michael Penix Jr., maybe a Spencer Rattler, Jordan Travis, Michael Pratt, somebody of that flavor, they could still bring in a guy like Ryan Tannehill and have a third guy in that quarterback competition, Jarrett Stidham, Tannehill or some other free agent, but Tannehill is probably the only notable quarterback. And Cliss did clarify that it would be a notable quarterback that they would bring in, and then obviously the rookie. So it would be Stidham, the rookie, and Tannehill all competing for the starting job. And I really do think that's an interesting solution. You're throwing as many darts onto the board as you can. Ryan Tannehill would cost very little money. I would think he would sign for close to the veteran minimum. So I would support that. That, but the only way I would support bringing in Ryan Tannehill is if the Broncos also brought in a rookie quarterback. And I have been on the record stating that I think the Broncos need to do whatever they need to do to get up into the first round and get their guy. I also said in a video earlier today that it may be a little bit more difficult to do that because it feels like the three top quarterbacks are going to be off the board by the time the number four overall pick comes around. That's the earliest that the Broncos could even entertain trading up. And the Minnesota Minnesota Vikings currently have more assets to trade up than the Denver Broncos do, so the Broncos are in a bit of a tough spot where they're probably realistically going to have to trade back and then take somebody like Bo Nix, and if you're not as confident in Bo Nix truly being the guy, then maybe you do bring in a Ryan Tannehill and just see what happens there, but... I also think that bringing in a Ryan Tannehill signals that Jarrett Stidham's days in Denver are numbered. If Jarrett Stidham is as good as the Denver Broncos are advertising, why would the top Broncos insider in the game mention the possibility of still bringing in a notable veteran quarterback? Jarrett Stidham was adequate last year in his two starts for the Denver Broncos, but it was very clear that he's not going to be a long-term solution, and I don't even think I have enough confidence in Jarrett Stidham as a temporary bridge into our rookie quarterback. I believe even if they were to get a guy like J.J. McCarthy, they should sit him for a little bit. You could trot out Ryan Tannehill, who admittedly did play some of his worst football last year for Tennessee. He did look truly washed up, but... Tannehill could start at least the first few games, survive out there. Sean Payton would put him in a good situation, just like Sean put Russell Wilson in a good situation last year to bring the best football out of a very limited quarterback. It would be a very similar thing with Tannehill. And until Sean gets frustrated enough with that and then feels like the rookie is developed enough and ready to go, that's a scenario I could very easily see. So, Bringing in Tannehill on the cheap, again, for maybe only $3, 4000000 million, if that, he might even sign for closer to the vet minimum. So this is a really interesting scenario that I think was very notable considering it came out of the mouth of Mike Kliss. I'm curious, Broncos country, how would you feel if the Denver Broncos brought in a guy like Ryan Tannehill or some other free agent veteran 
as well as a rookie quarterback? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video, as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support. Helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out and helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country, just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.